I guess we're back. So what we were just doing was really on what we were just doing right there was really still moving my direction. And I was moving my direction to a specific location. We're going to do it like this. And I can try to do them individually. Um, I do have the educator. I want Doug to call the new one the communicator. Hmm. That's a, a, an unlikable term, but no. I view it as real likable. If someone says, oh, what do you do for a living? I'm an educator. I don't know. That just doesn't scream big fun. Now, if right. they say I'm a mountain climber or I'm a guy <laughs> on Mount Everest, now that's very <laughs> Oh, I don't know. You guys, right, look, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the Um... There's people that think dogs are a pretty exciting job. Really? If you go out in public right now, of course, you know, if you started announcing that, then you just get mobbed with all these people <laughs> who start telling you about their dog from 1963. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think you're with me because we got kicked out of the front of the public on these sides. No, I was in there. Some lady was telling me about every dog she had. Well, other people heard her. They started gathering around. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Next thing, it's a bottleneck outside the door. Oh well, my it's god. It's not my fault. <laughs> I actually think that was back. I actually think, uh, oh, I know what it was. They had those plastic chairs that they were selling. Oh, geez. And I had got the plastic chair and moved it over by where, because Dan, that's when Daniel, the Australian intern, was there. So I was videoing him, but he was like over there practicing. While this woman was telling me all this stuff, he was over there like warming up, and he, he needed a lot of warm up. Um, so, you know, I'm just sitting out front of Publix in this chair, you know, not buying it, but you know, with like a price tag. <laughs> and uh, the manager comes over there, and he goes, "Oh, I've been over there watching you for the last 15." Okay, creepy. First off, <laughs> yeah. uh, and. And, you know, you're causing a bottleneck or whatever, I'm paraphrasing, but, you know, I, you know me, just me is causing it, it's these people, it's not me, it's your other customers, <laughs> you know, that's doing it, they're telling you their stories. I mean, this woman was telling me about every dog she had, we were only in 1963. <laughs> you know, it's going to go on forever. Uh, I'm going to get that big one. You guys, and, and you really bumpers. Good. I just slung him in my direction. What I'm gonna have to do? Ow. I suggest you cry out when pain when their nails dead. Um, yeah, I give advice about every bit of dog ownership. What do you suggest? You, uh, you know, because then we'll what do you, you know, suggest I do when they jump up and scratch me? I cry out in pain. <laughs> Don't hold it in. All right, guys, we're gonna uh, go try to get a couple of songs by you guys. <laughs> 